floor, guys. I was just chilling out. It's getting dark out earlier in New York here. It's after 7, so it's just chilling out, praising the Lord, worshiping on the back deck. And, guys, I felt like the Lord just said, Rob, if you really want to walk like those disciples of old, if you really want to walk like those apostles, if you really want to carry that power, look up, Rob like those men or women of God in the book of Acts, you're going to have to pay a price. And by word, doesn't it say, pick up your cross, follow me daily, pay a price? This is not cotton candy Christianity now, guys. We're not going down to the carnival and they're, they're spinning the cotton candy and put you on the Ferris wheel. It's not cotton candy Christianity. This is radical Jesus, hallelujah. Forgive, there's no lights, and I have these artificial lights, one of them, but point I'm trying to make is the Bible clearly says, guys, count the cost. It said, who of you going to war? Or if you're going to build a tower, you start to build this tower, you're not able to finish it. They're going to say, what? It's half. You built half it or you went to war and you, you couldn't win. I just think it's an hour where we're really going to have to count the cost, those of us that are in the radical camp, not the cotton candy camp, that are radical for Jesus, we're going to have to count the cost if we're going to be his disciples. Not everybody is his disciples, guys. Not saying they're not saved, not saying they're not going to heaven. Mark chapter 4 really spells it out. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. So I'm saying those that want to go all the way, you know, when Jesus was crucified, he was carrying the cross. A man came alongside him and carried the cross for Jesus. And it's an hour we're going to have to learn those that want to be radical, hardcore disciples. Carrying the cross, guys, first of all, it probably wasn't light. Second of all, many people carry crosses sometimes, and I don't have a problem with this, but they put a wheel on it, so it's easy. There was no wheel on that cross. cross. You had to drag it. You're going to get splinters, maybe. It's going to start to hurt your shoulders, weigh you down. Listen, it's all by the grace of God. It's all by what Jesus has already done. I understand that. We enter into it. He did the hard part. We just return the favor. I'm just saying those that want to be radical for the king and return the favor are going to have to carry a cross. I know this is not popular in some of the pulpits in this nation. I see what the pastors are preaching. A lot of what they're preaching, I'm not just being rude, crude, or obnoxious. What they're saying is all the, the many of the messages are about me. It's about me. If I've been hurt, how can I overcome offense? How can I be a better? How can I? I don't see many selfless teachings and preachings where it's not about me. It's about him. Where, you know, the, the, Paul it said, I must decrease. He must increase. Listen, when Paul came on the scene at the beginning, he says, I'm the apostle. Uh, you know, by the end of it, he said, I'm the dung of the earth. And I think it's an hour, guys, where there's a remnant. Listen, like it or not, the church is half of what it was a year or two ago. There's many that have left the faith. There, there, there is many that the Bible talks in about an apostate, a falling away in apostasy. Now, I'm not saying they, people can't come back. They're not going to make a comeback. I'm all for prodigals coming back to Father's house. I just think it's an hour we're going to have to carry the cross. Listen, get on that Zoom Thursdays. The Zoom meetings are going to get powerful. They're going to increase. More people are going to start coming on. And when more people start coming on, it's going to be more about Jesus and less of us. I'm just giving you a heads up. We're going to get more into prayer. These meetings are going to turn more into prayer meetings. There was a moment on the last Zoom, guys, last Thursday, where we entered in corporately in radical prayer. I heard it. I haven't heard it in the past. I heard people were crying out. People were crying out in tongues. 
People were getting radical on the Zoom, praying. I heard there was a moment, two or three minutes, and I didn't initiate it. Only the Lord can do that, where people start to cry out in intercession and tongues and prayer. And there's like a harmony and a sinner, like a synchronicity. There's people coming together, one mind, one accord. That's where the power is. So again, we're live Mondays on YouTube, live stream. And then on Thursdays, uh, praise the Lord is Zoom, 8 p.m. Mondays, 9 p.m. Live, live YouTube. Mondays, Thursdays, 8 p.m. I'll pin the ID and passcode. Please come on the Zoom, guys. It's getting powerful. I need your help on TikTok for those that made it this far on the video. The TikTok is Rob Wood, R-O-B-B Wood 1413. Please download the TikTok app. My heart breaks when I see the behavior on this TikTok. When you get on TikTok, get on my channel, follow me. I can't go live on TikTok till I have a 1,000 followers. I only got 400 in the last few weeks. I got like 40,000 views, 10,000 likes, but I need a thousand followers to be able to go live. So I need everybody to download the TikTok app and follow me so I can go live on TikTok and reach out to these young people. Guys, I love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.